He's a good fucking guy. Yeah, I know. We know. Unless you can, like, transform. I don't see how your ass is doing anything at all. He can barely see him damn so- right, Let me get off his body. Let me get on her body. <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome to Tommy Okuso, I'm your host Toso, and today we have the 5th episode of Hell's Paradise. I have a lot of catching up to do, specifically on Mashu, I think they're 4 episodes deep right now, so I gotta hurry up and edit, record, and then edit, and then get those episodes out, but then we are doing, we're caught up on Hell's Paradise, which is great, and then Demon Slayer is supposed to be coming out later on today too. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a busy weekend. Work doesn't stop for me, which is all good. It's fine by me. You know, I ain't got no problem with that whatsoever. Well, as we left off, uh, the the samurai chick is clearly showing to have no kind of like. And maybe it might have been the the insects on the island, but I also think that she really gets in her head a lot, which compromises her ability to do her job properly. My boy Gabumari, the Gabumaru put in a lot of work. And I was talking with some 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 people in the comment section about the chick. I, I can't get her name right. I think it's like Uziria or something like that. I hope to see way more of her. Without a doubt. I gotta, I gotta, I wanna see everything. And then we also got to see my boy Bakugo and Haku. <laughs> I'm gonna call that nigga Haku because that, that's just, it's kind of like the same kind of thing. We got my boy Bakugo and Haku kind of going through the island as well, fighting their own monsters. And I so far I want them to win. It's as crazy as it sounds. I want them to fucking win. So with that in mind, we're gonna see where things go from there. If you are new here, please go down, like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate any and all support. Again, it is all free at the end of the day. It doesn't hurt you to click that sub button. I really appreciate it nonetheless. So let's go ahead and unpack Hell's Paradise episode five, the samurai and the woman. <laughs> he is looking at her kind of crazy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's probably the best place to hide, and even then you probably have to fight some, some pregnant ants or something. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, so it was the butterflies. Gotcha, gotcha. That boy chilling. Everybody just chilling right now. Damn. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Fuck y'all. Damn! Let's unpack this. I'm in too. ま、島の先見もわからんじゃったりだし、なんとも言えんが。通過あったとして、あんたに判別つくの制約のこと、なんか知ってるわけいや、グッポイント。いや、there's <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna say. Why? <laughs> okay. That's my wife. <laughs> Shit, can we, can we like just stay on this frame? God damn! Damn, bro! Who is she based off on, huh? Let me see the model. I got her IG. I'm gonna spend like the whole fucking season just thirsting after this one woman, and I don't, I don't have no regrets about it at all. Thank you. You need to get the fuck out of here. You need to get the fuck out. You just need to leave. Oh. Oh, oh never mind. You're one of them. Yeah, he about to die too. He about to die too. He about to die. He about to die. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all sexist ass niggas, bro. You're a woman. You can't do nothing. Go back to the fucking kitchen where you belong. Like, that shit is fucking crazy, bro. 
She chose this job. Let her do her job. Meanwhile, I'm the same one talking shit. <laughs> I'm talking shit for different reasons. She just isn't capable, bro. Meanwhile, report live for Black TV. White folks are dead. We're getting the fuck out of here. Let's roll, Jack. Come on, Black. Let's get. Let's go, motherfucker. Help! Help! Run on the line. She, she about to turn up. She got to. Save this dude at least. Hey, he... Bruh, these niggas flash stepping. No way. What are these dungleberry fucks, bruh? Why? Ew! Bruh, that's Squidward's the bro. I don't care. Okay, so you're... you're me neither! Man, I'm with Terry Bogard. Okay. That is fucking disgusting. Wow. That is gross. That's literally square with <laughs> But then again, she said they ain't got no dick. So what the fuck is this? Cthulhu? <laughs> what is this? But what the fuck did you do? All because they don't want to listen. Wow. That's fucked up. All because they didn't want to listen? Bruh. I, fuck this. I don't like that, bruh. I like Terry. Bro, see, this is the fucking problem. Like, now I'm like, bro, like, Gobby Marlowe's plot is cool. Bakugos is cool. Yours is cool. Like, I don't know who the fuck to root for now. Like, I'm on everybody's side. Like, these criminals aren't even... That, that... That was episode one. That's the episode one, nigga, that we just saw. Stop yelling. Cthulhu is on your butt, bro. That nigga is smiling. He's in paradise. I told you to stop yelling. I told you. Now, if your ass die, then it's a fucking problem. Bruh, this is fuck- This is a Meat Canyon special. This is fucking gross. Oh, you about to turn up? Please turn up. Please turn- Defeat. <laughs> Defeat. <laughs> Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry Ken. This is this is the de the definition of boy next door. This is protagonist 101. Blonde hair, blue eyes, joyful uh, personality. Let's get it. Did I cut my face? That is. <laughs> this is fucking gross. <laughs> this is fucking disgusting, bro. Ew. Trying, bro. He, I fuck with dude. You, yep. Yeah, you want to die? Do you want to live? Like, get it together. I know Santa's dead and everything, but you still got a life to live, my boy. I told. That's what I've been saying. Man, you better fight. This dude is fucking awesome. Why is he so cool? He's the coolest. He's the coolest one. He's the coolest to say. Ask me. Same on. He's the coolest one. He's the coolest one. This is this is gross. I wanted to see it. What happened? Nice. Well, I would have loved to see how strong he was. This is the fucking uh, Bermuda Triangle, bro. That is fuck. That's it's a fucking kraken literally just by the island. He's like, I want to be a Bro, he's so fucking cool. I like this guy. Look at his drip, bro. Knew it. I knew it. 
I knew it. I knew it. Obviously, bro. That was kind of obvious. Meanwhile, get this whack ass butt chin ass nigga out of here. He about to die. He about to get smooth slapped by a fish and a monkey. I don't know how, but they <laughs> he about to get comboed. I know you ain't talking. You at least pushing 330 with your fat ass. Ain't nobody trying to, nobody trying to hear a word out your fucking mouth. Why don't you go do my fucking taxes, bitch? They keep showing this frame, and I get it. It was hard. That whole that whole section was hard. Yeah, I know. We know. Unless you can like transform, I don't see how your ass is doing anything at all. He can barely see him. Damn. So right, let me get off. This side. Let me get on her body. <laughs> You actually, I was gonna say you are, you just, you, you just get in your head too much. That's why he be making that face whenever she pull out his, her sword, he's like, oh shit, this, <laughs> it's wraps, bro, I'm finna die. <laughs> he's like, yep, that's it. Wow. That's beautiful. It, this, you know what? I like this in an anime to where a, a male protagonist and a female protagonist, they don't have to be romantically intertwined with one another. They can just have like a, a nice partnership. It, it doesn't always have to be like, oh, because I'm paired up with this person, we gotta do something. Like, this is cool. Not a Naruto and a Sakura thing, because that shit was ass, but this, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> His whole face. Gained like three layers of shade, and he's like, "Oh shit, <laughs> fuck!" <laughs> Shut up, bro. We get it. Sideburns. The stress that I felt. <laughs> the, st the, stre the stress that I felt just now. Cause I'm looking, I was looking at him, right? And he was there and I saw like the, the trees and the sun and the shit in the background. I'm like, okay, we're still, like I wasn't thinking much of it. I'm still paying attention to the conversation. Cuts to her, cuts back to him. I'm looking at the background, I'm like, are we at like a temple or something? What's going on? The nigga is so big, I thought we teleported to a whole different fucking place. No, he just showed up. How did he... And that's what that's what's killing me. How did he get there so fast to where nobody noticed? She didn't notice until he was already there. He didn't notice until she pointed at him. I felt every kind of anxiety in the fucking book. Every, I mean, every, that that was a jump scare from hell. That's why I immediately was just like, what the fuck? Cause I was trying to, my brain couldn't map up your genius. My brain couldn't process what the fuck I was looking at. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. First and foremost, episode was a fuck. Yo, Hell's Paradise this season, five episodes in. This is good shit, bruh. Anybody and every you see the muscles popping. Anybody, <laughs> anybody and everybody needs to fucking watch this shit. New gen anime has been proven to be a great step in the <clears throat> a great step in the right direction. 
I'm very excited to see where this shit's gonna go. We got introduced to the... I can't... I, I don't know if they said her name. We got Terry Bogard, and we got the chick that's with him. That was cool. I wish I could have saw them in action more, rather than kind of like his cut, it cuts, and then they're already back on the island. But that's fine. That's fine. I hope to see more of them in action way later. Um, we got Gabi Maru and them kind of learning the island a little bit and everything like that, and they can't eat the the... the the flowers and stuff because it's fucking people <laughs> so that's that's crazy sagiri and and gabi Morrow had a nice little heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her just kind of establishing her her own identity but gabi Morrow also saying that yeah you taught me something you helped me to really strengthen my resolve and everything which is that that fight that they had in episode three was very important for them to have um this show has been like episode after episode really good really really good and even like the slower episodes where it's kind of just building more story on the characters that we're following is absolutely fantastic with all that being said the big ass nigga that's been eating people and literally just slapping his hand and, and destroying them right who made him that was some serious pressure bro and i'm 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 loving hell's paradise a lot a lot Cannot wait until next Sunday to see the next episode, what's going to be happening, if we're going to follow new characters, if the characters that I fucking like, Bakugo and Gabi Maru, are going to cross paths and shit like that, if anybody's going to be able to take down this big ass nigga or they're just going to run away, I'm excited, I'm, man, I'm excited, and I can't wait to see way more. Thank you guys for watching, again, make sure to go down like, share, and subscribe, I really appreciate any and all support, I'll see you guys in the next video.